we have showers, rain, even some snow as we go through the rest of this afternoon, but then Storm Kieran is going to approach from the southwest. The low pressure is currently here to the southwest of the UK and it's going to rapidly deepen as it approaches us through the next few hours. But looking at the details through the rest of this afternoon, a band of heavy rain, some strong winds, even some hill snow across parts of Scotland. We're talking snow above about 400 meters or so. Elsewhere, a scattering of showers. Some of these could be heavy, perhaps even thundery, particularly across western parts of Northern Ireland, some parts of Northern England, into Wales and Southwest England too. Otherwise, there will be some sunny spells. Perhaps the best of the sunshine will be across eastern parts of England. In the north, with the cloud, the rain, the strong winds and the snow, it's going to be feeling quite cold at times, but further south, temperatures near normal for the time of year. Highs around 15 Celsius here. Later on then, Storm Kieran is going to push its way up from the southwest. It is going to bring some very wet and very windy weather across the bulk of England and Wales overnight, but the exceptionally strong winds are going to be towards the south coast. Further north, and we are going to see some drier weather once any initial rain overnight clears away towards the north, and some clear skies here too across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Under these clear skies, temperatures likely to take quite a dip, so a touch of frost likely here, but elsewhere across the bulk of England and Wales a milder picture because of the unsettled weather. Now as we go through Thursday it is going to be very wet and very windy. We have a number of warnings out at the moment because we are likely to see some significant disruption. There could be some further flooding and there could be some damage to property as well as disruption to travel as well. The rain is going to be widespread across the bulk of the UK pushing into eastern and southern parts of Scotland as we go through the afternoon and even Far eastern parts of Northern Ireland may see some rain skimming here, and this could cause some further impacts due to the recent flooding we've seen, but further west across the far west of Scotland and the far west of Northern Ireland staying mostly dry. Temperatures are going to be a little bit on the cool side as we go through Thursday. That's because of the cloud, the rain, the strong winds, and in the unsettled weather, it is going to feel quite cold too. Storm Kieran does then push its way towards the North Sea as we go through the end of the day on Thursday. Still plenty of heavy showery rain to come for a time but things will start to quieten down as we go into Friday. Now looking at the details, like I said we do have a number of warnings out at the moment but they include two wind warnings. We have this first one through Thursday morning affecting parts of the southwest and then another one which is across parts of the southeast as we go later on in the day. The strong winds if we look at the gusts are going to push their way from west to east as we go through the day. Around exposed coastal parts there's the risk of gusts reaching 70 to 80 miles per hour, perhaps even in excess of 85 miles per hour. So it is going to be exceptionally windy, which is why we are quite likely to see further significant impacts due to Storm Kieran. Now there is more unsettled weather to come as we go into the weekend, not as severe as due to Storm Kieran, but Aidan will have more information about this in our 10-day trend, which will be available on YouTube later. Bye-bye.